So today we're gonna go meet Jeff and Kristen. Uh, they have a house out in Lake Stevens. Lake Stevens is a beautiful city right on a huge lake. It's a fast growing and desirable community with lots of new builds. And families are moving in there by the day. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you guys doing? Good. Jeff and Kristen's kids just moved out of the house and they are definitely ready to downsize. Yeah, they've been actually trying to sell their house for a while now, but in the current condition of the home, they're having some problems. What a great area. We love yeah. this area. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice area to, we raised our kids here. Oh, yay. Can you guys tell us bedrooms, bathrooms, square foot? It's four bedrooms. Okay. Oh, wow. Two and a yeah. half baths. Yeah about 2,100 square feet. Wow. I listed it back in October just for sale by owner for a couple months. Okay. It was on for 415 okay. and I just didn't get a lot of activity, not very much foot traffic. Yeah. I think it just needs some updating. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do you guys want to show us around inside? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Cool. This is really nice, guys. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Great like high this. ceilings. Yeah. You can see upstairs. It seemed like you guys were had a little bit of urgency when we talked on the phone. Yes, I've pretty much already found a place to go. Oh. Yeah, I need to get this thing sold. Yeah, okay. it's just too much and we just need to we need to move. Okay. Yeah. So this would be dining, I assume. This was dining. this was dining rooms yeah. back then. They nice. did the dining, but we never used it yeah, as and a, have you ever used this room? Just for a playroom for the grandkids. Yeah. So I feel like with this room, without overhead lighting, I can see where these darker floors could like distract a buyer from wanting to move forward. Yeah. So you definitely have to address it in this room either by putting in lighter floors or some type of overhead lighting. More lighting. Yeah. Right. And a, this is a big room. This goes around to our dining. Is that right? So this is another cut through. Yes. Okay. How'd you guys feel about this giant? Island. I don't like it. It's really hard when it's so open and we have all the family over. It's hard to move around yeah. and mm. cook. And like, can I example yeah. here? You know, I mean, when you're in here doing this and yep, I mean, can't I can't do that. Can't even walk and by. It's, it just feels too crunched right. of a space. Next. Okay, so this is your main bedroom. Wow, this is oh. big. Holy moly. Yeah. And great vaulted ceilings. Two walk-in walk closets? Two walk-in yes. closets. Can I peek? Yep. Well, try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All your clothes. They're Jimmy rigged. That would be like mine. Wait, oh, hold oh. on. Tuck it in. I love it. Tuck and pull. Yeah. Yep. It's like putting on my pants. Yep, every day. <laughs> I find you fun. Thank you, sister. Okay. I'll laugh at you. So we'll go get you guys some facts and bring it back and see how we can best help you. All right. Sounds great. Hi. Thanks Hi. for coming, guys. Come on Thank in. You. We asked you guys to come here because this is what we would consider a comparable house, being that it's also four bedroom, two and a half bathrooms. It's a little over 2,000 square foot, and we are just across the lake from your guys' home. Right. What was your first impression outside? It's clean, it looks, it looks fresh. Did you notice the siding? Yes. Yeah. It looked like it was in great shape. So right. that's a huge selling point for our buyer on this house. Yeah. Tell us first impressions. You know, I like how open this is. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it doesn't feel like there's, right when you walk in, a wasted area. Like ours. One thing I find interesting is we've got a dining space here and we have a dining space over there. So yeah. we're kind of working with the two dining areas like you guys right. have. So we've got two big tables. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we can do something better with your guys' space. Yeah. In your formal dining room, I'd like to close the cased opening to the living room and make that into a home office. In the living room, I'd love to replace the dark floors to brighten up the space, but that'll depend on budget. Either way, I'd repaint, add can lights, and stage with smaller furniture to increase the flow, highlight the square footage, and show how it can be used by a family. So what do you think of this kitchen? There's no island in the middle, so it is a little bit open. I do love that everything is consistent mm -hmm. and clean, and it does feel like we've been talking about with your home. We just need to make it that turnkey, move right. in ready. So in your kitchen, I'd remove the oversized island to free up walking space. Add cabinets and appliances, backsplash, and more lighting to brighten up the space. So with all of this that you have seen, mm -hmm. what would you think this home sold for? Mm, 475. How about you? Oh, uh, 490. Uh, it was listed at 
$4.99, and it went over $520,000. Oh, wow. Now, this here is just a perfect example for us of how much potential value yeah. we have to capture in your guys' property. So with that, Lindsay, what are you thinking inside? We do need to lighten up the space, you know, lighting or floors, paint, or all of the above. Opening up the kitchen just so that it doesn't feel so tight. And then address the main bathroom and the siding. That's right. an absolute must. must. So with you having been at 415, if we invest $60,000, we believe that we'll be able to list the home at 510. Uh, that would be 35,000 above what your listing was once we got our 60,000 back. And that would be 17.5 each that we would walk away with. Let's do this. Awesome. All right. right. We're jumping right into demolition at Jeff and Kristen's house. This is a 90s home that needs a serious facelift to bring it up to date. We're removing the 90s cabinets, tile countertops, and oversized kitchen island. We're getting rid of the old carpet in the bedrooms and clearing everything out of the main bathroom. We want to get this into a move-in ready family home. Here in Lake Stevens, we're competing with a lot of new builds. So we need this 90s home to feel crisp, clean, and brand new. So we're updating all the trim around the house. We're also painting the whole interior a soft gray tone. Our style here is Rustic Lux. So the gray will blend nicely with the rustic accents we add in. Like mountains. And that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Imperfection is perfection. Like this. Oh, oh I was really like that. <laughs> <laughs> and we got a third color to mix in. <laughs> We're done. So what do you think? I love it. Our team is finishing painting up the exterior. Our design style is rustic luxe. And to boost that rustic feel, we're wrapping the beam between the living room and the kitchen and using the same wood for a giant accent wall in the foyer, which will wow the buyer right when they walk in. We're installing a cool gray tile in the main bathroom and mixing it up with a diagonal design on the back wall of the shower, which is going to give it a modern luxury feel and bring that room back from the 90s into a new five-piece bath. We've been moving as fast as possible to get this house finished for Jeff and Kristen. And the end is in sight. We added some wood panels to the media closet and Leslie installed some shelves in there. Jeff is adding gray tiles and rustic wood panels to the fireplace. And we're installing a sliding barn door in the main suite, which will finally give that bathroom some privacy. Now we have some final touches to do on the porch. So when you have a covered porch, it's just nice because you have another place to sit outside. This is actually an extended living space now. Yeah. Carpet's getting delivered later today, and then tomorrow we stage. Um, we're going to get this done real quick. I'm and excited. Get it in front of the owners. I think they're going to be shocked. OK, we're getting so close. Oh my gosh, this is them. Is it? Hi. What do you think? It looks great. Wow. And that front porch is really something you want to enjoy and sit out on. Yeah. Oh, it looks great. Yeah. Yeah. Just awesome. wait till you see inside. Yes. OK. OK, let's go. Welcome back to your house. Oh, my god. Oh, geez. Wow. This is so, That's so cool. crazy. I'm going to cry. Aww. Aww. What we really focused on here was making it an entryway. And by just putting this wood to elongate mm -hmm. and show people yeah. how big these ceilings are, there is plenty of space oh, yeah. to be able to utilize the entryway. Yeah, I love the colors. Awesome. Yeah. Good. Kay. Okay. Back into what was the dining space. Yes. We, as you can see, we added a door I and like it. then took away a door. This is perfect. 
And yes, Jeff, we kept your floors. Yay. We'll talk about that. Um, so we didn't want to go over budget on the paint, the lighting, and the floors. So we kept those floors throughout most of the house, yeah. but you're gonna love how the entire house feels lighter. Right, and with the floors, it doesn't bother me anymore because it's brighter. Exactly, and that's one of the focuses we had was really lightening up the trim, the walls, yeah. to make sure that the floors didn't feel as dark as they did. Yeah, it's great. Okay guys, okay, guys. Okay. go see your living room. All right. Nice. Oh wow, this is so different. You like that, Jeff? I do. Do you want to go check out the kitchen? Yes, I do. Go, <laughs> go ahead. Wow, I love the backsplash. Oh, you guys did a great job. That's nice. I like it, I love the layout. I never envisioned the island not being here. Yeah, right? me either. But it just opened it so much up. I like everything you did here. I mean, it's just great. It's nothing I would have thought of doing. What do you think of the floors being on a diagonal? I like it. With the boards of your wood floors going this direction, if we laid the floors in the kitchen the same direction, it would have been an odd transition. So we felt like going at a diagonal was a better transition. Yeah, love it. Now we'll go check out those bedrooms. Our first bedroom. Oh, wow. We did kind of like a teenager room. Oh, that's cool. So here we go. Come on oh, in. Oh, wow. I like it. Yeah? It was very important for us to do a king-size bed, nightstands, and chairs, a bench, you know, all of that in this room, because this room is awesome. Just such a great size that we really wanted to showcase. The high ceilings. Yeah. I love that door. That is a nice bye bye tub. Juicy tub. I love it. I would have loved to have had this. <laughs> Overall, you guys are happy? I'm yeah. so happy, yeah. Yay. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's okay. go downstairs and talk. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's go. So, guys, now that you've seen the whole house, what are you thinking? Well, looking at the project now, it's way better than I ever imagined, and I know it's gonna sell. Awesome. So your original list price was four fifteen, dollars and you guys were unable to sell. We invested $60,000, and now we're going to list at $510,000. Once we get paid back our investment, that is $35,000 that we will split at the end, which is seventeen five dollars and seventeen five. dollars mm -hmm. And what I would like to do is list the home and hold offers mm -hmm. for five days, um, and then we would review offers Sunday night. Let's do it. Okay, cool. awesome. awesome. I'm so excited. I'm so happy you guys like it. As great as this house is, I am so ready to get it sold and just start a new chapter in our lives. Yeah. So again, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for letting us be a part of this. Oh, and thank we'll you. And we really get you guys some good offers. I feel very confident about this. I do too. Hi. Hi. Hello. Are you guys here for the open house? We are. Oh, awesome. Okay. So here we go. Oh, I love the fireplace. Yeah, that wood is cool. And it ties place. into the wall yeah, out here wall. with the beam. Yes. All right. I'll probably paint on it some more. So. <laughs> We're encouraging creativity. Look at us. I love it. <laughs> this is gorgeous. That tub alone. Right? <gasps> that tub is going to be mine. Yeah. What? <laughs> I love the way how everything is flowing together. The decoration is really nice throughout the house. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> what, a what a sweet boy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that we got 32 I, offers on Jeff and Kristen's house in Lake Stevens? I'm still in shock, honestly. So I sent them a spreadsheet. Okay. So they've had time to process. I told them that we would call them this morning. I love it. Offers and coffee. It's offers my favorite. Offers and coffee. Let's go. Hey, hey, how are you guys? So did you see the spreadsheet that we sent you last night with 32 yes. offers? I know, yes. wow. I think you've given us kind of the top five of mm -hmm. what the offers were and kind of looking at financials and everything. I, I think we've figured out which one we want to take. Yeah, okay. which one are you thinking? I'm thinking the 712. 
All right. Awesome. I think that's a good one. I yeah. mean, we looked at these offers in a lot of depth, and yeah, that one definitely looks like one of the top strong ones, being that they waived inspection, um, are closing in 30 days, they released that earnest money up front. So we were listed at 510. Their offer was 712. That's $202,000 over the original yeah. list price, which is just mind blowing. Once we paid ourselves back that 60,000 that we invested, there was still $142,000 left of additional profit. So that's $71,000 for the Jacobsons and for us. I don't know that we could look for anything better than that. Woo woo! <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you guys so much. Yeah. You guys, it looked beautiful and you did such a great job. So happy. I'm just happy to yeah. move on to our next chapter. Yes. Well, thank you guys so much. And I will send over the offer for you guys to sign. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.